Good morning lovely people, how are you doing? Happy, happy Tuesday to you. I'm Joanna Hall and welcome to my morning instant body booster. Simple, quick, easy, posture enhancing, stretching mobility inspired exercises to help you start your day a bit brighter. And this is session number 36. Come on in, how are you doing today? Um, I like to go early for those who may be new for the first time, I like to go early a few minutes before I actually start, kind of officially about 8.30, to share, very importantly, that little bonding cup of coffee with you, cup of tea, whatever your little medicine is today. So as you join, come on in, say hello, who you are, where you're from, and um, how are you feeling today? We have in the house, we have Fiona, good morning, we have Lisa, we have Anne, Linda, I've got Marita, I've got Deborah, good morning, June, how are you doing today? From South Australia, Fiona Atkinson, hello, hello, that's so great. Do you know what's been wonderful about um, doing these morning instant bodies, body boosts ever since we've been in lockdown? Real sense of... Um, I don't know, community and bonding and coming together. And that's really what, what my sole purpose was of actually setting these up um, way back on March the 23rd when we went into lockdown. And it's just been a really, really um, joyful experience for me. So thank you so much for coming along on this. Um, Doreen, good morning. Sarah, good morning. Christine, good morning. Jean, good morning. And just to say, first of all, a huge thank you to you because last week um, we just had a bit of a charity focus. Uh, it was a charity of my choice, which was Depaul UK. And we raised, with your contributions, thank you so much and your kind generosity, um, over a thousand pounds. I think it was um, 1,000 and 87 pounds or something like that so thank you so much and i just wanted to share with you that DePaul wrote to me they were so um pleased and touched and happy and it really they were a small charity so every single um pound that's raised makes such an immediate impact and they have used that money to actually convert an office which wasn't really being used that well in sheffield and they've converted it to a little bed sitch which, which now provides um sleeping accommodation for two young people taking them off the street every single night so I have a photograph of that and it's on my stories and I just want to say I'm so touched and um, they're so happy and that's all because of your generosity so have a little look at what your money and your generosity has actually physically created to help two people every single night come off the streets and put them in a position of safe isolation so thank you so very much that's in my stories on Facebook and I've also got that on my stories on Instagram on Joanna Home Life so thank you so much much. Um, so Maura, good morning. Sophie, good morning. Angelique, Chris, hello. How you doing? Joanna Booth, Janet, how you doing? Good, 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 good morning. Karen, hello. So um, in your PJs to morning, that's what we like. You can be in anything you want. Alison Morton from sunny Plymouth. Hello, Maid. Um, Wendy, hello. Okay, so what have I got planned for you today? Today, have a really um, kind of easy pre-work vitalizer. This is what you're going to need. Um, you're going to need to have a chair. Um, you don't need to have a mat, but I always quite like to have a mat because it gives me a bit of grip. But you don't need a chair and you need to have a towel, okay? So if you have those handy, it's going to be sort of a simple um, series of exercises. Hopefully open up all these tight hamstrings up here, tight lower back, open up your shoulders. So I'm hoping by the end of it you are going to feel zing a zing zing, okay lovely people? Sandy Noble, good morning. Marita, good morning. Jenny, good morning. Amanda, good morning. So um, what else was I going to say to you? Yeah, we've got a busy week. Um, thank you so much for those who expressed an opinion when you would like us to do our next Beauty in Action live chat. I did our first one last week. My lovely friend who is a beauty brand expert, self-confessed, complete not a product junkie, uh, Noelle, Noelle Shine of Beauty Vibe London. So we did our first one last week and this week we're going to do five o'clock Thursday Facebook live so any questions that you have it's all about outdoor exercise walk active and skincare so SPF serums but also what how and when and why so really simple user-friendly information um, with fun informative chat between two people who are really really good friends but uh, know a little bit as well so a bit of walk active but lots of things about how you can optimize a bit of this hopefully so we feel zing 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 inside and out so good morning Ali good morning Monica good morning Belinda good morning Anne good morning Mr. Paul Stolper and the Stolper family because I know you've got the clan up and down the country you've got your mum you've got your sister you've got your aunt the whole lot so good morning to you guys good morning Jay so what else was I going to say oh yeah and Friday we've got get started with walk active my 10 day totally free online walk active program all designed teaching my scientifically proven walk active system which has been shown to improve your posture and reduce your joint stress at the knees and the ankles so if you want to join that you please um, there's still places uh, you just have to click visit group at the top of my Facebook page 
answer the three questions. That's really important because you need to answer the three questions to get into the group, but it's all free. And uh, there's loads of pre-course motivation there ready and waiting for you. And we officially start on Friday. I love sharing that program with you. It's really amazing. The um, the improvement in people's techniques but also you know how you feel physically but also how you feel here and now the weather is fabulous may is national walking month and it looks like we might be coming a little bit on the other side of where we are in this situation together so hopefully it'd be great for your physicality and for your mental situation as well so gorgeous people i hope you can hear me there's some construction work happening in the building next to us um so i hope it doesn't disturb your peace too much good morning elizabeth good morning natasha shall we get going let's do that okay last slurp all right gorgeous people so let's start by actually sitting down which is quite a nice way to start the day really um i want you to sit nice and forward on your chair so i'll just slip this way so you can see what i mean by that um you want to make sure that you have your your knees over your ankles nice sort of integrity from the hip going forward to the knee into the foot so you feel that you've got some energy in your body going in that direction you're sitting on your tailbone and you're sitting up so you've got length between the, your ribs here and your hip bone, really important. For those of you who, those of you familiar with my walk active, I call this my global greeting. So you've got your thumb and little finger and you're trying to create as much distance between the ribs and the hips. So from a physiological perspective, this means your internal obliques, which are part of your abdominal wall, actually are trained to become long and taught and support the body in this position rather than actually becoming used to this position. So that's a really good reference point, okay? So that's our setup position. Breathe in, just take the arms up really lovely and tall. Do a little bit of gathering, always really nice. And at the top, just wriggle your fingers. And just kind of wriggle your toes while you're up there as well. So you've got little both ends saying, hello, how are we doing? Take a big deep breath in and then stretch the arms really wide. <sighs> Breathe out. Let's do that again. So big, tall stretch up. Check you've got distance between the earlobes and shoulders here so you're not so sort of scrunched up. Just take a moment just to see where you are. Wriggle those fingers, wriggle those toes. Deep breath in. And then just breathe out. That's great. Okay, so from here, just one side bend. Just lift up. Just ease that little, little bit of a side bend. First of all, nice and gently. Good. And then come back to the other side. Nice and tall. Breathe up here. Ease down. That's great. And then come back to centre position. Now, from here, take the arms up. And all I want you to do is just bring them past your gorgeous faces. Let your chin sort of follow and ripple down. And just scoop in through those abdominals. And you're just going to rest the hands on the knees. So you get a little bit of a stretch, a bit of a mobility in your spine. I'm just going to swing sideways so you can see. Imagine you've got like a beach ball here. And then I just want you to extend up. So these points here, the ribs and the hips are close together. Now we're actually going to use our abdominal muscles and the mobility of your spine to keep that length here and be nice and tall, okay? Let's repeat that. So start by the pubic bone. So tilt under from here. Think about it if you can, the sequencing of the rippling up through the spine. Let the chin come down last of all, breathe in. And just check if you can, the shoulders a little bit relaxed, and then come up again, nice and tall. Good, we'll do one more like this, okay, so tilt under, get that little bit of a kind of an imprint first of all, so you feel more like you're a bit more on the fleshy part of your bum, and ease back, chin comes down nice and gently, softness in the shoulders if you can, and then feel how you extend up, and feel proud of the space that your body takes today. Good job. Now we're going to extend that. So the arms are going to come up and now we're going to take the roll all the way down. So the chin comes down past my chin, all the way down. Let the hands ripple down and you're just gently going to come into a position. Now whatever feels comfortable for you. So you may feel that your arms are here. If you can take them to your feet, that's great. And just take a moment to be completely relaxed here. Let your head be relaxed. Let there be a moment where you just take a couple of deep breaths, breathe in and breathe out. And you may feel a little bit of a sort of stretch here in the lower back, so just nice and gently deep breathe, deep breath in and breathe out. Now build your awareness now, so there becomes a little bit more awareness in the abdominals. So you're going to just pull up the abdominals so there's less communication here. Lift up, pull up, and then just relax down again. Well done, and again. So you've got now you've got communication between your thigh and your belly, and now you're going to draw up through those abdominals, a bit more of a stretch, a bit more of a mobility right through the spine, and then just let it ease down again. So you're nourishing some of the joints, putting a bit of mobility in the spine, last one. Also waking up the abdominal core area, all that abdominal wall, distance between the elbows and shoulders, and then ease back down. Now this time we're going to unfold all the way up, 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 gently, gently, gently. Stretching the arms up, 
little bit of a just a side twist, go one way, how are you doing, you're right? And take the arms up, just waking up the side of the body, lift up, that's great. Now, take your hands in front of you, lovely people. I'm coming around this way, just seeing so you see what you'll do. I like to call this hover the hand of happiness. You've got to do this, otherwise I'm looking the right silly person by myself. Hover the hand of happiness. Bring your feet underneath you a little bit. We're just going to do four squats up and down, okay? So we're just going to come up here, and I just want you to ease back. So you touch the chair with your butt cheeks. Now, a couple of things to be important here. You want to make sure that your knees are going back so you can see your toes all the time through here. And also, if you drew an imaginary line, through your kneecap to, it should be in line with your second toe. I'll do one more. So that's important, okay? Now, stop, stop and finish here. And then from here, you're actually gonna do a roll down. So take the arms above the head, stretch up tall, bend the knees, tuck that tailbone under, and then you're gonna roll all the way down, 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 nice and gently. Let the head relax, nice and soft, and just lift up through the backs of the legs. So this is our first one of this little sequence. So just take it steadily, see how you feel in the, this position, just nod yes, nod no, slight bend the knees, heavy in the tailbone, and you're going to roll all the way up, breathe in. Think about the lovely sequence of unfolding the spine, extend up through the body, feel how tall you are today, feel really loud and proud of your body. Deep breath in, and we're going to repeat that, so here's our bend, here's our tilt under our tailbone, and then I'm going to roll all the way down. So the chin comes down first, get that nice curvature of the spine, gently, 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 just see how you're feeling today, and at the bottom just nod yes, nod no, no tension. Try to extend the legs to a point that feels comfortable for you. Breathe in, and then bend the knees and roll up. Good job, okay. Now from here, we'll do one more here. So lift up, stretch, stretch, bend the knees. All we're trying to do is just wake up the body, just feeling how it is today. Don't need to judge. Sometimes we might feel a little bit more flexible and more agile one day than the next, but actually investing in this and investing in our physicality Making a sort of effort to turn up is so good for our well-being, of the posture, and the body really rewards itself when you become consistent with this. Good job. Now, come around here. We're going to move on. I want you to put your foot on your chair. So you're probably a little bit comfortable distance apart. Put one foot on and just position it so you feel comfortable. I'd like you to feel a little bit of an opening here, a tiny bit of a stretch on your hip flexor. So ease into it. You may need to just move your foot back a little bit because you always want to make sure you can see the foot. Middle line of that kneecap, second toe, that's great knee alignment. So from here, a little bit of a stretch and then all you're going to do is just start to straighten the front leg. So this is when you start to feel a bit of a stretch in the hamstrings. Really important because these muscles get tight, we spend a lot of time seated or if we're driving. Good, now come back again so you've got a little bit of a stretch in the hip flexor, feel that stretch and then ease back. Good. Do one more of these on this leg, so a little bit of it wake up, just nourishing the joints, ease it back, good job. Now from here, put one hand down, and then you're just gonna open the other one up, so you just get a little bit of a nice open of the upper body, breathe in, stretch those fingers to the sky, a little bit of rotation in the mid spine, then that hand comes down, and then this one comes up. So you may find that you've actually got more range on one side than the other, that's okay. Just see how it feels today, bring that one down. Now, bend this back knee, scoop the abdominals in, lift up, check your balance, change legs. So this one comes up, find your position again, check the distance between your earlobes and shoulders and the ribs and the hips, ease forward. So a little bit of stretch on that hip flexor, check that your hips are square, and again, check that midline of your kneecap over your second toe. Okay, so breathe nice and smoothly, and then you just ease back. Again, you're just opening up the body, that's all it is. It's about being respectful to your body, see how it feels today. Breathe in, breathe out. And this sequence is brilliant before starting work. Actually, it's a really whole body opener. It's also fantastic actually pre-walk active because you're opening up all these sorts of areas. This is your last one here, and then we're actually going to open up that body. So you can put one hand on the chair, one hand on the back, whichever feels comfortable. Let this hand trace up, just open up the mid-back, stretch those fingers to the sky, lift up, breathe in. Good, and then bring that hand down, and then this one is going to come the other way. Now for me, I'm actually a little bit more restricted on that. That's okay, just opening up the body, see how that feels, breathe in and ease the body back. So tap the tailbone under, lift up, check your balance, lift off, good job. Come back, 
We're going to repeat that again. So find that position, nice and tall. Are you ready? Lift up nice and tall. Lift, lift, lift. And you're going to ease down. So the fingers come past your chin. Come back into that scoop. So just a little bit here so you get that movement here. Deep breath in. And then lift up again. So lovely tall stretch through the body. That's good. How are you doing? And again, the chin comes down. Ease into that spine. Hopefully it feels a little bit easier here. Breathe in. Good, and then ease up. Now I'm just gonna add on a little bit here. So lift up. Now this time, as you come back down, you're actually gonna change and cross the hands. You take hold of the knees and just ease back. So this will hopefully open up the back of the shoulders a little bit. Breathe in, breathe out. Check that you've got distance between the earlobes. Do that one more time, breathe in and breathe out. Good, and then you roll up. Remember which hand was on which knee and which order. I always have to give myself a little mental think. And then we're going to change the other side. So the hands come onto the knees, tuck that tailbone under, ease back, breathe in. Good, and breathe out. Try to have a little bit of softness in the elbows. Let that shoulder gun kind of spin out because the muscles are attached in that position. Breathe in and breathe out. It's a really nice way to open up the muscles at the back of the shoulder and then just ease up. Good job, well done. Now from here we're gonna roll all the way down and this time one foot is gonna come out. So we're gonna wriggle down, gently, don't gently down. Ease down, stretch forward, breathe in. How does that feel today? Ease back. And by doing this repeatedly, the body is kind of being nourished. Actually it's helped quite good for our mental well-being as well because it just allows us to kind of feel how we've got that nice rhythm. You know, stress management has shown that the body really likes repeating things. Okay, and having a rhythm is really good for our mental well-being. So breathe in, tuck the tailbone under, take that breath. Feel how the body maybe gives you a little bit more, nice and gently, stretch up nice and tall. Lift up, that foot comes in, and we're gonna take the other one out. So lift in, all the way down. Here we go, walk those feet down, walk the fingers down, stretch, maybe feel a little bit more of a stretch in the lower back. Just how does that feel today? Breathe in, stretch tall, good job, and tuck under. So feel how maybe you're giving you, your body's just giving you a little bit more each time. Allow the breath to be nice and smooth. Breathe in, good, last one on this side. Reach up, stretch up tall, good. Excellent, now from here, nice and smooth, bring that foot in, take the hands up, one hand comes here, one hand comes behind, stretch tall, open up the body. Good, come back to this side and here, stretch tall, breathe in, come back to the centre, lift tall, hold those hands of happiness, we've got two squats, are we ready? Here we go, we're going to come up and we're going to come down one, that's good, come up, one more here, down, make sure the knees are going back and up, good job, we're going to roll down but slightly different, so you can do traditional if you want or this time you can cross the leg in front, take the arms up, stretch up nice and tall, let the hands come past your chin and slowly, slowly curl down, roll down, ease a little bit more, how does that feel? You might feel a little bit more stretch on one side, breathe in, breathe out, ease up nice and gently, ease the arms up, step to the other side, so we cross here, lift up tall, roll down nice and gently, good job. Making sure we're just being comfortable with the body, just feel how it is, opening up those areas that can get really tight, can cause a bit of strain, a bit of discomfort, but just opening up is really positive. We're going to do that one more time each side, take the arms up, stretch here, lift tall, let the arms come down nice and gently, gently, bending the knees a little bit more if you want to, seeing how that feels, ease up, good job, bend, curl up. By crossing the legs, you'll feel that that may actually bring a little bit more on the outside of the hip. You may feel it there. And again, those muscles can get really tight all around this kind of area here. So it's lovely just to open it up. <sighs> Breathe, bend the knees, come up. Good job. Take the arms wide, come back, get ready. We're going to put that foot on the chair. One of these each side. So find that position, nice little hip flexor. So stretch into it, open up, check that position and ease back. Feeling that nice openness here of the hip. Good job. Breathe in. How's this feeling? A bit better? I'm really interested when you finish our session today. Let me know how this feels. Good. One more. Just a nice smooth breath. So the breath stays smooth all the way through here. Good job. Well done. And then from here, just put one hand up. Just a little bit of an open to one side. 
Gosh, our sun is coming through here today, so it absolutely feels gorgeous. I hope you've got sun with you as well, or it's sunny in your heart. Bring the hand down, lift up nice and tall, and put the other leg on. So just adjust yourself, okay? Put that foot on, ease forward. So just get a little bit of a stretch on that hip flexor, and then we're just going to come back. So we're just stretching this area here, really important, because sometimes it gets really tight. Hopefully this is being a bit easier than when we first started. Nice and smooth, nothing too jerky. And keep the breath smooth as well. That's nice and smooth, good. Well done. And then the hand come down. We'll just do one more little opening here. Stretch up, lift up. Really think about punctuating your fingers to the sky. Open up your heart chakra, lift up nice and tall, and then bring that one back down. Good job. Okay, so bring back that lift. Last time over here, are we ready? Okay, sit up nice and tall, take the arms up, get ready with your towel, okay? Lift up, roll all the way down this time, so come all the way down. Good, deep breath in, breathe in, let the body be relaxed, okay? Now pull up so you get a little bit of a stretch. Abdominals come away from your thighs, and then just relax down. One more time, pull up. Good distance between these elbows and shoulders, lovely delicious stretch from the middle back and come back down. And this time we're going to roll all the way up. Good job. And take one foot out. With your towel, okay, you're just going to wrap that around your foot. So I like this is an old swimming towel, which is quite thin, it's quite a nice towel, it's not too chunky. So just put it around that foot. Grab the ends, sit up nice and tall. So you might feel a little bit of a stretch maybe on your calf, maybe a little bit on your hamstrings. And then from here, if you feel comfortable lifting up out of your hips, open with the torso, you're just gonna ease forward from that lower kind of angling from the hip. So it's, you're closing the angle between here and here. I'm not scooping down, I'm lifting up and I've got length. So just feel maybe have a little bit of stretch, possibly on the calf, maybe on the hamstrings, maybe a little bit on the lower back. Nice and soft and long, take a deep breath in. Good, and then bend, curl up nice and gently and then you repeat on the other side. So take this one here, nice and gently, get that set up position correct. So you've got distance between here and the back is nice and straight, open with the torso and ease forward. So a little bit of stretch wherever you feel it, okay? Sometimes people say, you've got to feel it here, you've got to feel it there. Um, my thoughts are there is you'll feel it where your body is a little bit restricted. So breathe into that wherever you feel the sort of, mm, that may be a bit of a sticking point. Don't need to judge it, just breathe into it and ease it off. So nice and tall with the body. Good job and breathe it back. Put that to one side. Get ready, we're going to stand up. Nice and smooth. Let's just roll down two more times. Here we go, lovely people. So stretch nice and tall, bend those knees, curl down, nearly there. Big, long stretch down, feel heavy in the tailbone. Let the head come down. Take a good look through your legs. Try to straighten your legs, see how that feels. Nice and soft in the shoulders. Is that better than the first one today? Just nod yes, nod no, see how you feel. Deep breath, breathe in. And then from there, breathe out, let the tailbone come down. A nice, slow, delicious up, roll up. We're gonna do one more of those. I'm gonna turn sideways and show you how it feels for me. Hope it feels good for you. Stretch up tall, take a moment to see how tall you are in this world today. Breathe it in, people, bend the knees, tuck that tailbone under, the energy comes down through the body. Let the chin come down, ripple all that lovely mobility right through, heavy in the feet. Let the knees be generously bent if you want. Come here, just nod yes, nod no, and then start to straighten the legs. How does that feel today? Does that feel better? Take a look at life upside down if you want to, because sometimes it makes things seem a little clearer. <laughs> Bend those knees, lovely people. Roll down, tuck that tailbone. Good, and a lovely deep breath in. This is our last stretch this morning. Thank you so much for your energy. Stretch those fingertips to the sky. Just take a moment to think about the space that you take up with your physical presence in this world today. Stretch up nice and tall, feel grounded on the floor. Grab your energy right from the floor, up over your legs, over your ankles, over your knees. Feel the space coming up through the pelvis, up through the spine. Take a moment, take a big, big, big deep breath in. And then take the arms out nice and wide. Get ready, most important part, the big hug in the love. I hope this is really important for you. And I know this means a lot, for especially those of you who are living in isolation all the way through the big lockdown. So hug it in, lovely people. You know who you are. Squish it, squish it, squish it. Breathe it in. Let the chin come down nice and gently. Let the corners of your mouth rise up. Squish in, a little bit of a stretch for the upper back. 
and breathe out, let the arms come out, we need to repeat it on the other side, so we try to create symmetry in the body, and let the hands come round again, scooping that love, different arm on top, lift up nice and tall, the chin comes down, press that love in, corners of mouth rise up, think about a lovely, warm, positive thought, let it radiate through your body, and get ready lovely people, thank you so much for your energy, we're going to send out our love right around the world today, are we ready, after the count of three, one, Two, three, whoosh, it's gone. Thank you so much, lovely people. That was Tuesday. Uh, I'm Joanna, and that was my morning instant body booster. It was a really easy pre-work vitalizer. So let me know how you're feeling. Leave me a little comment. <coughs> Excuse me. Please tag and share this on your timeline with your friends if you think it would make a difference for them. This session is really great to come back and revisit. Hopefully, um, you can use it as a pre-work revitalizer. It can be great as a midday if you've been at your desk or something. And it's also lovely at the end of the day just to lengthen out all those areas get get really compressed and I also think it'd be fabulous pre your walk active because we've opened up all that kind of lower spine area um, tight hip flexor pelvis area and that can become very restrictive with our stride and it impact our posture when we're actually doing our walking so really it's a great little does everything anyway gorgeous people thank you so much for energy today I will be back tomorrow 8 25 um, have a lovely lovely day stay safe and enjoy your day take care lovely people thanks for your energy Bye-bye.